are currently watching the first video of our new YouTube channel. Today we're reviewing five different lipsticks, nude lipsticks, on our different Asian skin tones. So let's jump straight into the review. lipstick is a soft matte lip cream from NYX. The shade is an Abu Dhabi which is a deep rose beige color. The texture of the lip cream is soft and moussey and after applying it dries completely matte. It stays moisturized on the lips and can last around three to five hours. I think it was great. It's actually a pretty sheer option for like liquid matte lipstick. Yeah, it's but I really sheer, like yeah. it because like it's more suitable for a daily basis mm. for me. It's it's actually like perfect for your lip. It's like your lip color. Mm -hmm. So it would get like the yeah. the my lip but better look. But then I think for me it's a bit too it shows my lip lines a bit too much. Yeah. Exactly. And it's I not long lie. lasting. I don't yeah, it's not long lasting yeah. that too. Is it worth buying? Yes. Yes for me. This is so <laughs> affordable. This is like next it's affordable. Like it's, it looks good. Okay. Not sponsored. <laughs> not not <laughs> sponsored. Disclaimer. Okay, no, we'll put this it. is our first video. Yeah. No one would sponsor us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, <laughs> we'll sponsor. The second lipstick we're going to try is Max Mineralized Rich Lipstick. This is in the shade Posh Tone, which is a warm nude color with a pinky peach undertone. This formula is moisturizing and leaves an opaque natural finish, but because of this natural finish, it's not very long wearing. I think it's really creamy. It goes on well. Mm. It doesn't crease. And I like how it glistens, but it's not too shimmery. I don't wear this every day because it doesn't ever dry down matte. Mm. And yeah. like when it's like when it's like wet and and you know like a satiny finish, it just if it's not transfer proof and then your hair will stick to it if there's wind or whatever. It's just personally I don't like too matte, so this is perfect for me. Oh. So okay. would you wear this daily? Yes or no? For the okay. color, no. For the consistency, yes. Okay. For me, it's a bit too thick. Like, I prefer things that are a bit light on my lips. And so, like, I don't feel like there's a layer of cream on my lips. Me too. That's why I put less. Like, just like dab a bit yeah. and like spread it out. You know? Yeah, that's probably... I would I not wear this every day as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like more of a darker shade for every day. The MAC lipstick in Satin Brave is a My Lips But Better type of lipstick. With a little bit of purple undertone, this lipstick appears like a mauvey rose nude on light, cool toned skin tones. The formula appears matte more than it is satin and lasts for a good couple of hours before another application is needed. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's my everyday color. I already used half, so yeah. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like it shows up a bit too purpley. For some, I don't know if you guys know this on the video, but like, because my lips, like Robin as well, like our lips are dark to begin with, and then when you apply this, it's just really purple. It doesn't even look like a nude, it just looks straight up purple on me. It looks like my lips look better. Okay, so would you wear it as every day? Mm. I, would. I would not wear this every day. I like something closer to my own lip color as every day. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly's like, yes, buy it! <laughs> This NYX lipstick is 3C Ease Lip Liqueur in the shade Bon Bon. It carries an apricot color which may be too warm for many skin tones such as mine. AKA it can make you look like Donald Duck sometimes. It dries down to a powdery matte finish that 3C E describes as a cashmere texture and um, all three of us agreed that this lipstick looks prettier on camera than in person. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So back oh story, this lipstick is actually mine and I've never actually worn it out before. And I got this because Jen M, also on YouTube, um, she wore this lipstick on like an everyday makeup tutorial thing and I was like, oh my god, it looks so good on her. I got it, look terrible on me. It looks okay on me. It shows creases. It's hard to apply. It, and there are layers on it and you see the original skin color if your lip is dark. Dark. Like, dark. Yeah. And also it's like a really weird texture like when you first apply it, it's really wet But then when it dries down a bit it turns yeah. powdery almost it doesn't turn matte and it doesn't stick to your lips It's like powder and it's like a layer on top. It works on Shelly because Shelly is extremely light-skinned in terms of color In terms of color. Yeah, but again like this formula is just mm. Yeah, so would you wear this every day? <laughs> is it worth buying? 
<laughs> it's not that expensive, but I don't I don't think it's like if you don't wear it, then it's not worth it, right? Kylie's liquid lipstick in Malibu is a cool toned nude. On Asian skin tones, it appears as a dark nude, so the color is more suitable for those with tan skin. The formula is light with a powdery matte finish. It may accentuate lip lines if you have dry lips. It's really dry on me. It's really dry on everyone. All three of us found it really dry. I look, like, I I don't look have very dry vampy, lips. so like. I actually don't think it looks vampy on you. It just looks really mature. Mature. You look yeah. a lot older. Oh. The color is not ideal. And it's not for everyday use. It looks like it looks like I just crawled out of a grave or something. Like I look dead. And the smell is extremely <laughs> It's a really it's fake not stank. Depends on what artificial strawberry flavor. Artificial it's like cake. Vanilla. Vanilla. Like like <laughs> you have to buy it as a kit, right? With the lip liner? Yeah. And you have to pay for shipping because we live in Hong Kong. Yeah. I don't think it's worth. At all. You can easily get something similar with similar quality and consistency in a in a drugstore. Yeah. It smells. It's super drying. The color is not that great. I guess if it was another color, it would maybe be more forgiving in terms of the lines. But then this color just doesn't work for the Coco lines. Coco looks good on me, and I like it. But the, it's too dry. Yeah. And also, the actual color does not look anything like this tube. Mm -hmm. So in real life, it looks extremely vampy, whereas on this tube, it looks like a really nude pink color. Yeah. So when you when you're like shopping online, make sure to watch videos and like you yeah, know, watch search for videos. swatches on people's lips. Yeah. Because this does not. Look According good. to your skin color too. Yeah. Definitely, because it looks different on everybody. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe and support us. We'll be posting more videos soon. <laughs> bye bye. No, okay, no. It looks like a dog. Come here. Voter. <laughs>